What is the G-spot? And how can you find it? You've probably heard of the G-spot, along with how it's the key to achieving an earth-shattering vaginal orgasm. But, is it real? Honestly, it's complicated. Known as the Greffenberg spot, the G-spot was introduced by Dr. Beverly Whipple, after she discovered that using a come-here motion along the inside of the vagina, produced a physical response in women. She believed that this region could be the key to women achieving orgasm during intercourse. However, it's important to clarify that the G-spot isn't actually a distinct part of your anatomy. In fact, in a 2017 study, researchers attempted to find the G-spot only to come up empty-handed. Instead of being its own separate spot in your vagina, the G-spot is part of your clitoral network. This means that when you're stimulating the G-spot, you're actually stimulating part of the clitoris, which is much larger than we're led to believe. Turns out, the pea-sized nub where the inner labia meet, is actually only the tip of the clitoris, and divides into two roots that can be about 4 inches long. Plus, this region can vary from woman to woman, which explains why it can often be difficult to locate. However, once it's stimulated, the G-spot can cause female ejaculation, and help women reach vaginal orgasm. How can you find the G-spot? Finding the G-spot can be difficult, especially since it's not actually on any map of the human body. That doesn't mean it's impossible. Instead of searching for it during partnered sexual activity, it's easier to locate the G-spot through self-exploration. If you're looking to find your G-spot, start by relaxing. As you begin to explore your body, do what feels best to you. When you're ready, begin massaging the opening to your vagina, before inserting your fingers or a toy. Then, using your fingers or a toy, lift upward toward your belly button in a come-hither motion. Remember, you're not trying to hit a specific button, but rather finding what feels best for you in that general region. Repeat the motion as the sensation builds, and, instead of an inch-and-out movement, you'll want to keep focusing your attention on this area.